This is our robotic garden. The inspiration behind it was that there isn't a lot of interest, especially from young girls in computer science, and not a great way for them to get interested. And the garden is a great way to teach some of these basic concepts in a visually pleasing way. We have over a hundred different robotic flowers in this garden and they can all open and close and the LED lip flowers can also change colors. So we can show um, distributed algorithms running on the garden as well and demonstrate some basic algorithm concepts for beginning computer scientists. You can interact with the garden through the computer. We have an interface that shows the garden split up into tiles and you can click on a tile and click on a color and the, the flowers on that tile will change colors or you can make them inflate or deflate and we also have buttons to display the distributed algorithms that can run in the garden. One of the more interesting algorithms that we can run on the garden is called graph coloring. And so what happens in graph coloring is every tile will have flowers that are a different color from the flowers on every tile around it. And we need at most four colors to accomplish this here. Recently we displayed the garden at the Hour of Code and we had some local high school students come and try out the garden and then when they saw the code run in the garden, kids were really excited. And um, one of the really neat things that happened as a result of the Hour of Code was I had a couple of kids come up and ask me where they could get their own components to make their own robotic systems and how to get started. And so it really was doing what we were hoping it would, which is inspiring kids to get interested in robotics and programming.